Hi there everybody. Um, on today's video I have this uh, Nissan Qashqai. Um, this is a 2 litre petrol, um, 2011. Um, I'm just going to be changing the oil and the oil filter, as well as having a look at the um, screen wash fluid and the coolant fluid. Um, I'm just going to start by looking at the screen wash fluid. Um, we can top it up in that container with a blue top there. Um, this one here. You can get any screen wash fluid from any garage or petrol station, ready mixed or concentrated. Um, I guess ready mixed is a bit easier. You just get it and pour it in there. Whereas the concentrated one, you need to mix it yourself. But uh, I wouldn't recommend adding any washing up liquid in there or anything like that, because it's just gonna clog your system and uh, you're not gonna have any um, water when you need it the most. So just uh, get the proper stuff, which also keeps that from freezing which you don't want it to freeze either because it's not going to come out <laughs> so don't just put water in there um, now the coolant will be in that container there just going to look at the uh, amounts and the anti-freezing capacities okay so the coolant is um, going to be in that tank and uh, you can see there um, a max and also there's a little min mark there so the max mark there is just referring to that edge there to that line to that line here that's where uh, the max is that's more or less you're expecting your fluid to be up to and the minimum is down here so I'm just going to open that to check the coolant physically. Um, if the engine's been running and it's very hot, be, be careful when opening this cup. They are fail safe and, and whatnot, but if for some reason the cup is failed, it could um, spray a lot of hot water and then you can um, get burnt. And you don't want that, so you could always wait for the cup to cool down before checking this. Um, now I can see the coolant is you just uh, flash the light there in this case um, I can see the coolant being right just at the mean in there um, it's just above the mean it's a little bit difficult to see but just above the minimum and um, and that's okay that's okay um, we, I can top that up a little bit but that's not um, anything concerning because if it was below the mean then I would uh, perhaps be a little bit more concerned whether there's a leak somewhere or something else is going on Now I have uh, this tool here I'm going to use to check the percentage of antifreeze. Now just looking at this here, I'm trying to just hold it straight there. It's showing me around minus 15. It's just uh, adjusting itself a little bit. So we'll just wait for it to settle. And it look, looks like it's settling around uh, minus 25, 26, which again is good. Um, you can also check the fluid in here and you can see it's quite nice and clear 
and it's of a, it's kind of a green it's got a green appearance so it's a, it's a green type of antifreeze which I happen to have a little bit here So I'm just going to top that up a little bit. Okay, so now I just have it at the line there. So I'm happy with that. So we can go ahead and close that up. Um, now I'm going to concentrate on the oil and the oil filter. So we're gonna drain, um, we're gonna get the car up and drain the oil from underneath and tackle the filter from underneath as well. Um, but before I get it up, I'm just going to just take the dipstick out and also open the oil filler cap here and leave them like so. Just remember, if you're working outside, um, don't remove the oil filler cap. You can just leave it like I'm leaving it, so nothing goes in there, um, like dust or anything else, any leaves or anything that you might not notice, and so just avoid things going into the engine. Okay, with that said, um, let's get the car up and tackle the things from underneath. So looking at the car from underneath, uh, just removing these little plastic clips, you pull the center out and you take the clip out. It's four of them. I'm just removing this plate here to have better access to the um, oil filter. Now, um, instead of maybe just removing that half, we could remove the whole panel here. So there's some 10 mil bolts. Okay, so should I go the two 10 mils? Um, out first <laughs> and then remove the first cover and then remove the other cover um, nevertheless uh, that gives us access to the filter which is just sitting here and you can see that's an ADN 12112 uh, that's a blueprint as well and we have access to the sump plug bolt here as well that's a 14 mil So just remember again, if the engine's been running and that is very, um, the oil can be very hot. So just uh, be careful not to burn yourself. In this case, it's not that hot. Um, I warmed up the car a little bit, but not that much.
and while that is draining we can um, tackle the oil filter just make sure you have your uh, oil pan underneath the area of the filter as well because some oil will definitely come out of the filter so I have one of these to remove the filter uh, this doesn't have any any measurement but normally I use this one for uh, the Toyota Toyota Prius so that size is the same as this one um, but it's, if you're gonna buy one to do your car then uh, just search for a Nissan Qashqai um, oil filter tool and that something like this will come up also and to be honest those filters are not really on that tight so you could remove them uh, easily with something else if you have the, the room so I'm just gonna get that off now and uh, some oil will drip from there So I left that draining for a while now, now I'm gonna put the sump plug back and also the filter. So I have a new copper washer as well, just gonna change that. You can inspect the, uh, the old copper washer, don't always have to change it, but uh, sometimes people reuse it too many times and then it does become a little bit damaged and then you can have a little bit of an oil drip there so that's back on and I have my um, new filter here this filter comes with a little bit of grease already on the gasket on the rubber o-ring there and like I said this is a blueprint ADN 12112 and we're just gonna tighten that by hand don't need to use a tool so I think this this just goes on like a 10 newton meters or something like so it doesn't really have to be tight And just cleaning the area there as well, so we don't have any drips or leaks from uh, from draining the oil. Uh, now I'm just gonna refit the bottom cover, and then I'm gonna lower the car, and we can uh, top up some oil. So I'm not gonna film refitting that cover. It's just a few 10 mil. The bolts and those little plastic clips okay so now um, now we're ready to top up some oil that will go in that oil filler cap there and uh, we'll just have a quick look here at this um, manual so the manual says uh, capacities the following values are approximate capacities the actual refill capacities may be slightly different from them when refilling follow the procedure instructed in the number eight maintenance and do it yourself section to determine the proper refill capacity um, now engine oil This car here, capacity says 
engine, if this is the MR20DE, is 4.4 liters. Um, now, 4.4 liters, you need to look at what engine you have here to determine how many liters you're going to put in, put in there. Um, this is assuming you've changed the oil filter. If you haven't changed the oil filter, it says 4.2 liters. So I changed the oil filter, so we're going to do 4.4 liters. Now, one way of determine, determining what um, engine you have is uh, if you look at the, your engine here, and then at the start of the manual, there's different engine um, styles. You will see there, and then it tells you what engine that is. That's a Euro 4 K9K. Um, this engine, the one on this car, is that one there, which is the MR20DE. Um, I often work on this engine here which is the HR160E so if you look at the manual of these pages you will find what engine you are working with so it's a good idea to have a manual um, 4.4 liters so they also recommend 5W30. Um, depending what country you are in, you might, if it's very hot or very cold, you will have to choose slightly different um, oil types, um, uh, viscosities, and so on. But here in the UK, temperatures are not extreme, so 5W30 is, uh, is okay. Okay, 4.4 and also you can check your dipstick um, on the dipstick here we have trying to get the camera to focus there we have those two dots so the minimum will be this dot and the maximum will be this dot or you have a H there for high and uh, we have another letter here again I have to focus here right we have an L on this end for low and high so we are aiming to be obviously at the high dot here um, it might be a little bit above there at the moment because uh, once you run the engine some of that oil will go into the oil filter housing and it will then be at the correct level but at the moment I expect it to be a little bit on the higher end I mean a little bit higher than the high and it is it is up to up here it's covering the H there and it's going up a bit. So once we run the engine, oil will go into the oil filter housing and then it will drop down hopefully to around the dot. And that's basically it. So I'm just gonna start the car now.
So hope this video helps and um, thank you for watching.